Welcome back to 27 News. Joining us now in the studio is Shawnee County District Attorney Mike Kage. Good morning. Good morning, Tiffany. Thanks for being here. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. You too, yeah. I can't believe we're already there. I know. <laughs> it happens fast. <laughs> yeah, well, something that also happened recently, the Shawnee County Commissioners have moved out of the courthouse. So talk about how this has helped your office there. Well, it's given us some breathing room, right? It's given us some more space. And it's not just the Shawnee County Commissioners. Uh, there have been a number of other administrative offices that have relocated to a building across the street. And we're grateful because we need the space. Uh, and I know the courts need additional space too. And so now we're finally getting into that space. Uh, we're uh, renovating things that need to be fixed, uh, bringing the building up to uh, the standard that, uh, that you would expect and that you, that you need uh, to run an office like ours. Yeah, and um, remind people when they moved out. Yeah, so this, this process uh, kind of happened uh, in, in, a, in a staggered sense uh, going into September, and, okay. and then early October is really when the moves were happening in earnest. So this is a very recent development. Okay, well switching gears, um, there's been a few discussions about the future of the 45th Street Bar and Grill after recent acts of violence. So do you have any jurisdiction when it comes to either taking away the business's liquor license or closing it entirely? You know, uh, liquor licenses, uh, no, I, I don't have any authority there. Um, I believe that's through the Alcohol and Beverage Control uh, Agency. Uh, however, my responsibility is as a prosecutor, right, as the district attorney, is to enforce our laws. And when people are flaunting our laws, it's to hold them accountable and to serve as a deterrent in that way. Uh, so certainly when crimes occur at any location, including the, the one you just referenced, it's our responsibility to go in there make sure those laws are being enforced and respected uh, so that people understand that this behavior, illegal behavior, is not going to be tolerated within our community. Okay, and now um, something else that's been going on in the community, Topeka Jump, a local organization, they claim that you've given up on efforts to prevent violent crime and shootings among young adults, focusing instead on a program geared mostly towards kids. So first, give us your response to the claims that you've given up on efforts. Sure. Well, let me start by reiterating what I said a moment ago, which is I am a prosecutor. My responsibility is not to prevent crime. My responsibility is to prosecute people who break the law. That's my job as a prosecutor. Uh, but because of how I see things and because I want to make a, uh, a big difference in our community and I want things to get better, I have invested in a crime prevention strategy. We call it SAVE, which stands for Strategies Against Violence Everywhere. And uh, it's actually been launched uh, very successfully. And uh, our partners right now in this program are the Boys and Girls Club of Topeka. And we rely on stakeholders in the community uh, and community members uh, to make referrals to the program. And the idea is we want to identify people who are at risk to become victims of violence, people who are at risk to engage in violent behavior themselves. And so we rely on those referrals. And to date, we've had one referral for an adult, okay? Every other referral, and this is over 40 kids, has come from the schools. So those are our biggest partners in this. They're referring kids who are at risk and they're sending them to the program. And the program is engaging those kids and their families in wraparound services. And we're having tremendous success. And uh, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why, <laughs> why that is a bad thing. You know, why is it a bad thing to engage with kids? Why is it a bad thing to invest in our youth? Why is it a bad thing to, to go out and try and prevent uh, them from going down the wrong road? Now, as far as that claim, uh, I haven't given up on anybody, you know, but I do have a role as a prosecutor. So uh, there's also a difference here in philosophy because I believe my responsibilities as a prosecutor require me to, again, enforce the law. And when somebody is engaged in that violent behavior already, I'm going to do my job as the district attorney. I'm going to hold that person accountable because that is my duty. And that is why I'm here. Now, if they haven't done that, then the SAFE program could be helpful to them, right? And so I think that's the difference, uh, is some people cannot understand that I have those ethical responsibilities as a prosecutor and that those are going to kick in when the violence has already occurred. Okay, right? and oh, sorry to cut you off, but we are out of time, but I wanted to ask you um, real quick, have they asked to meet with you or have you met with them? Are you open to having a conversation with them? You know, I have met with them many times. I've explained what I've just explained to you many times, and that's why I say for the life of me, I can't understand. Some people just can't accept something that doesn't go with 
their own agenda, right? But I'm not here to win a popularity contest. Um, I'm not trying to make everybody happy. I'm trying to do my job and do it the best way I know how. Uh, and not everyone's going to be okay with that, and, and that's fine. Um, but again, if there is anyone, and that includes Topeka Jump, that knows of an adult who needs the services that SAVE provides, they can make that referral. That referral has yet to be made. Okay. We are here. The program is working. We are building the program. We have long-term goals for the program that I think are uh, f fairly close to what Topeka Jump is hoping for, and that's also been explained to them, right? Okay. But this is a... It's a new program, and uh, it's successful, and it should be celebrated. It should not be uh, criticized. Okay. Well, we are out of time. Um, we certainly appreciate your time this morning, Shawnee County District Attorney.